Hey guys, RCT back here for another video. Guys, today we have a really cool Windows Central article here that actually talks about the Surface Duo 2 and Windows 11. So if you guys have not been following my channel, there has been updates when it comes to Windows 11 on the Duo 2. And of course, those updates will all posted on Gus 33000s um Instagram. I'm sorry, Twitter page on my Instagram. Uh, and then of course, Windows Central made a really cool article about talking about all the updates so let's go ahead and cover this right here starting off right away he said once again learn a lot when bringing the device this device up a bit more with the duo one two this requires way more effort on my part i'm going to focus back on the duo one for a bit though and he does show right here of course he does have windows 11 running fully on the surface duo two just like he did for the Surface Duo 1. So he has it on both devices, which I still find absolutely crazy and mind-boggling in all honesty. Um, but as you guys can see, we have the Snapdragon 88 processor going down here. It's just, it's just crazy. It's absolutely freaking insane. This man literally took the Duo 1 that was never in a million years would I ever think we get uh, Windows 11? Mainly because of the archetype of the actual phone. It does not support Windows, right? It does not support, it could not run Windows. That's why Microsoft failed and tried to put it on there. Absolutely flopped. So it was like, okay, well, it can't run Windows. That's that. Somehow, someway, my man's here. Finds a way to get that to work. Then he picked up the Duo 2, which was a 1,000%, 0% chance could run Windows 11. Or Windows, period. He finds a way to get that to work. So right here, you can see it does say memory uh, at 8 gigabytes. So this is the Surface Duo 2. Um, it's just, uh, I'm mind boggled. I'm absolutely mind boggled to see him actually be able to do this. And he does show the battery right here where it says, again, it is fully healthy. So it's not like this is hurting the battery in any way. And he's getting full usage out of it from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. Yeah, that's crazy. I I'm just telling you right now, this is absolutely crazy how smart this uh, person is slash just amazing this person is to actually get this to work so right here he does have all the features that is working on the surface um it's early then okay yeah so working on the surface duo too here's what's cool about this he says that he got this done faster than he got on the he got it done on the surface duo one which is really freaking dope. Now, of course, he did have the Duo 1 to kind of, you know, work off of. But that is so absolutely crazy that he got done that freaking quickly. So he has the UFC working, left panel display working, side buttons working, lid hall sensor, thermo sensors, battery 1 and 2, which of course will be each display, modern standby, USB-C, charger, and he has the SOC core uh, cores working, but only one core is actually working. So he does have a lot of this actually working, which is absolutely insanity. And again, this is just showing uh, what we saw before, uh, which of course is the device manager on the phone. And it's just, it's just crazy. It's honestly just crazy. So Windows Central does make an article about this, showing this off. Now they did a really cool picture right here. I do like how this does look. Now, if you guys do not understand what's happening on this screen. It is mirrored from one display to the other display. Um, especially with Surface Duo 1, you kind of have to mirror the two displays together in order to get Windows 11 to work fully. And same concept with Windows uh, 11 on Surface Duo 2. So while yes, it's only working on one panel, it technically is working on both. It's just a mirror panel back and forth, which actually looks freaking amazing. So right here, they talk about how the developer Gus Stelb, Gus Dave Monts has released the initial package to install Windows on the Surface Duo 2. So yes, if you want to take the brave journey and go ahead and install Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 2, you can actually do it right now. Uh, he did release it on GitHub. Um, I think it, I believe it's on his tw uh, Twitter. He did release the actual package and how to do it step by step, uh, which I, I will say he definitely has a really good tutorial in there. So shout out to him for that. But he also previously released Windows 11 on the original Surface Duo. So whether you have Duo 1 or 2, if you do want to get windows 11 on it 
you can do that now i will tell you though um if you do install windows 11 you do have to unlock your bootloader and you can never relock it so that's another you know if you want to do it go do it but just keep in mind it's it could go ahead and mess up things down in the future for your device uh now with a duo one it's not really a big deal it's a 300 device even less than that one's uh some what's called pages and sales but if you're looking for the duo two that might be an issue when it's still a thousand dollars if not fifteen hundred dollars when it gets re-released um, the release is still incredibly early as only one core of the SOC working and there is no touch support yet for the dual displays. There is no touch support for the dual displays. Now I will say if you have any issues, he does have a discord you can join that will really kind of helps you out to, you know, resolve any issues or problems. So that's definitely a plus. And then it says the full project is viewable on GitHub, which of course it is. So again, if you are trying to go ahead and do so, Keep in mind, these are all the issues that are still happening. So the right panel display does not work. Uh, no multitask works. Pen uh, digitalizer left and right does not work. Bluetooth does not work. Vibration motor does not work. The GPU doesn't work. So again, you're still going to be in a long journey before we get all these things to work. And again, right now, you got to remember, this is only like a month and a half he's been working on this, which is absolutely insanity. So, you know, overall wise, we will find out more information, get more updates as time goes on. Uh, it says right here, um, what's called remarks on some serious caveats to the installation. If you do install on, on Surface Duo 2, you will go ahead and obviously you have to wipe your whole entire data. Uh, when you are installing Duo 1 or Duo 2, the first thing you have to do is unlock your bootloader which actually resets your phone completely so everything on your phone will be wiped um next thing you will lose nfc payments with an unlocked bootloader that's another big issue so if you have the duo one it's not really a big deal it doesn't have uh nfc but if you're in the duo two you will lose your um what's called you will lose this your nfc so keep that in mind do not if you don't want to lose it don't install in duo two um, it's also, it isn't really ready for you to use outside, obviously no touch extra. So you're pretty much just kind of showing off a really cool concept and kind of like a prototype and you're not really able to do anything with it. Um, and again, no warranty of any kind. So if you do break it in any way or mess it up, then you are kind of crapped out of luck. And he does actually talk about this in the GitHub article. There is a place of what he calls place of no return, where if once you get there, if you mess it up there, you're done. Uh, you are going to actually have issues in the future trying to do anything with that device. So again, keep that in mind. Uh, you are avoiding your warranty by doing this. So if you have a warranty with a phone, it breaks. Kind of can't go back to Microsoft. Could you try to install Windows on Microsoft? Ironically enough. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.